Hey guys, just wanted to break uh, from the regular things I show you uh, in case there was any doubt whether I'm actually a nerd or not. I track all of the coins that I find on my metal detecting uh, outings. And I noticed a discrepancy this morning that I'm going to try to address this afternoon when I go out. I was looking at the number of coins found and you can see I've got 200 uh, pennies, um, 22 nickels, 33 dimes, 34 quarters, uh, 11 loonies, one toonie, and then the older coins that I found, some of the original stuff. And I've looked up uh, best I can what, what they're worth. I've got one gold ring in there. But anyway, the discrepancy is the number of nickels. And I'm wondering if that's because they ring up in the pull tab range. I get some really good signals that hit in that 57 to 65 range and I just say, oh, I'm not digging that up because it's a pull tab. If you look at the other two numbers, dimes and quarters, they're right neck and neck. I'm going to try to dig up some of those signals. There are a lot of really good 57 to 65 signals that I've just bypassed. And let's uh, try digging 20 of them today and see how many of them turn into nickels. Let's see how that turns out. Hey guys, uh, made it to the field and took about 10 steps from the car. We've got the first suspected nickel signal. Uh, I'm looking for anything between 50s and 67. Um, bouncing around, I usually miss those. And uh, the question we're trying to answer is, how much treasure am I missing by not digging those pull tab signals? Let's find out. And there we go, there's signal number one. Should have left that where it was. Okay guys, hole number two was bounced between 53 and 80 and some kind of very fine finishing nail. There's a 53 to 76 signal bouncing around. I'm just going to say that these first three holes uh, haven't been a real solid signal. They're bouncing all over. So let's see if we can find a little more solid signal in that uh, 55 to 65 range and see. Okay guys, here's a little more solid of a signal. Hole number four, some kind of rivet or snap off of a kid's jacket, possibly. But again, not a nickel. Well, hole number five is a strikeout as well. Hole number six. Very strong, sounds like a coin. These are the ones I would suspect are a pull tab. Let's find out. We got our first pull tab. That's the uh, signal that I would have thought for sure was a pull tab. It was a little stronger and uh, a high 50, low 60, and it was just locking on a little better, so. Number 11. Okay, that one just happened to be right beside the, uh, the last hole that we dug in our uh, search of 20. So I thought I would just grab it while we're here, but it's not part of the 20. <laughs> Number 12. 13. 15. So I'm working on hole 16 and I found this really cool, really tiny little hook. Uh, I don't think that's what was making the detector go off. We'll check it, but uh, I don't know what that's from. That's cool though. Hey, finally on hole 16 we found something that we wouldn't have suspected it to be. It's a dog tag. So not that exciting. It's still not a nickel. But it's not a pull tab either, and that was ringing up in the 65, 68 range, uh, bouncing around a little higher, a little lower. 53 to 58 signal, uh, pencil, the end of a pencil. Okay, another penny, not part of the test, uh, solid 80 signal, just thought I'd grab it while going through. Number 18, coming in at a solid 65. Number 19, solid 68. Oh, thank God. Hole number 20. It is getting on lunchtime here, so I'm just going to have a snack, and then we'll finish this last hole. There it is, guys. Hole number 20. Well, all I can say is I'm glad that test is over, and it just confirmed what I've been thinking all along. I'm not missing anything by skipping out on those signals. There we have it. 20 holes, all in that uh, 50 to 68 range, which I would think would be nickels. Um, some of them more jumpy than others. 
I think I have definitively answered my question of whether or not I am missing anything important by skipping out on those signals. The really strong clear ones I know are always these pull tabs and the iffy ones you get things that are more aluminum foil and small items, even the odd nail and uh, pretty much junk. The only thing that I find of interest is the dog tag. I'm going to see if there's a date on that, but the rest of it, I uh, don't think I've been missing a thing, guys. That's my personal conclusion on this test. Hey guys, Unfrequented World, out with Kaylee. Uh, came out to visit the old folks out in Redbridge, nobody's home, so we're going to metal detect the yard while we're here. We got our first signal, so let's check it out. All right, Pinpointer Girl, find it. It's like down here. Well, there it is, the first one, contact cement. Not what we were expecting. Dad, I can hear you. We got it! And I think it's a coin, the first coin we've ever found of Papa's. Can I pull it out? Go ahead, pull it out. What is it? Oh, it's a dime! I bet you it's an old one. What's the date on it? 1071. 1971, so not as old as I would have thought. Well, there's find number three. It has a uh, pointy bullet-like look to it, but it's not lead, I don't think, so. Next up, we have the legendary beer cap of 94. It's got glass in it. With some kind of uh, O-ring to keep water out. I don't know what that is. Yep, well, iron poop. That's what that is. Gross. Really, really gross. 